This is my wife's 1995 Chevrolet K3500 6.5 turbo diesel. If you've been a member of the channel for any amount of time, you guys know what this truck is about. Since the introduction to this channel, this truck has been the go-to reliable truck that me and my wife use pretty regularly. You guys have watched me change the transmission out in the driveway on this thing. You guys have watched me replace the injection pump on this truck and amongst other things. But unfortunately, as of recent, this truck has seen some neglect from yours truly. Other things took priority but now in the spirit of getting the projects up and running it's time that this thing gets the love that it really deserves not to mention we're gonna be selling this truck here in the near future and I don't feel right selling somebody something that needs work I've never felt comfortable doing so and I'm not about to start doing it now so I'll be documenting all the repairs that I make on this thing so that the next owner knows exactly what he's buying and with that being said let's get into today's video How's it going guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I felt it was uh, a little necessary that we change things up from the four wheeler content for a little bit. So like I said in the intro, this thing needs a bunch of love. Unfortunately, we've been neglecting this thing a little bit and uh, it's starting to show. And what better way to fix said issues is to just continuously buy new parts until everything's fixed. So judging by the thumbnail, obviously we're going to be tackling the shocks and I want to show you guys why. So this is my 1999 Suburban that we picked up recently and uh, it actually has fairly decent shocks if you uh, jump up and down on the suspension. It comes to a pretty easy stop. This is my wife's 95 Dually, and uh, she rides like an absolute war wagon. That's rough. So with that being said, let's just go ahead and fix those because uh, it needs it. So for a lot of people, shocks, I mean, are very easy to replace. It's not rocket science. For the most part, it's two or three bolts and the shocks come out. This is the brand of shock that I wind up picking up. I believe all four of them were 150 bucks off eBay, so I'll leave the link in the description. Obviously, they're not any like super name brand shock or anything like that, and uh, I just want good shocks on there for when we do finally go to sell this thing. So let's just get to tearing them apart, and maybe this will be educational for somebody who's never touched shocks on a, a one ton pickup. All right, so for anybody new as to doing shocks, uh, it's just one bolt down here for the front axle and uh, one bolt up here. You can see that this one isn't centered anymore. So these shocks have been on here since we've owned it. I've got my little helper with me today. What you think, Peanut? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's just um 19 millimeter um heads on those bolts and nuts and then 22 millimeter for the lug nuts uh get your tire out of the way it makes it easier for you and after you get both of the bolts out shot comes out yeah the bushings were done so uh glad we're changing these new shock nice bushings everything's centered up so you're just gonna fall into place with the old shock you're gonna put your bolts in and then you're done with the front end all right y'all so up next now we have the back shocks and i wanted to show you before i remove these exactly why <laughs> these things are so bad as you can see right there is the shock that we originally bought this truck with and judging by by the amount of oil coming out of the shock and the fact that that spring is completely out of center i don't even know what these shocks are as far as brand or anything like that but these things are done for the other one is the exact same but uh the bushings up top are blown out as well uh, the bottom is all cracked so it's definitely time that these things get replaced with something new even if it is a cheaper new part i have no idea what the hell these things are so without further ado let's get these things changed oh my. Ow. man these shocks suck whoever designed these damn things you can suck a fat one. 
friendly reminder to be careful when you're dealing with BS because I just ripped big hunks of flesh out of my fingers so <laughs> can you see that thank you pumpkin this is not going well whoever put these shocks on this friggin truck I hope it was worth it. This BS. Can't even get this dang bolt out. Oh, it's gonna slip and come back and hit me right in the face. Oh, 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 oh. oh yeah. Whoever put these damn shocks on? <sighs> Screw you. You suck. These things are garbage. I don't ever buy these, whatever the heck they are. I'm gonna try and find out afterwards, but screw you. You suck for putting them on here. All right, y'all, so here is one of the old shocks and it was just filled with all the, all the hot sauce that's dripping out of it right there. And I have no idea who bought these it would appear that they are a correct shock for this truck these are the two new ones um, obviously this one is still collapsed this one is at full extension i gotta put that um piece of plastic back on here so i can get them in no problem but these these little devils right here are just done for like Obviously, it's separating. If you pull this cap off here, uh, you can remove the spring, but I don't even know. All I know is that they are junk, and I'm not gonna take the time in order to see what brand of shock they are. The bushings are done. They took a lovely chunk out of my finger, which is just fantastic. But let's go ahead and get these new ones in because I want this thing to ride a lot better. To put these in, it's just like, it's exactly the opposite of taking them out. You got two uh, 12 mil millimeter bolts up there. You got one bolt down here. Take them out, put new ones in. Good to go. All right, y'all, now that I've got all the shocks on there. Rear axle shocks looking nice and spiffy. Driver's side front axle, passenger side front axle. I can tell y'all that just moving it around in the driveway, what little bit I did, there is a significant difference. Without further ado, let's see that difference. Excellent. And now with these old crappy shocks removed, I have an extra special place for them. So with that little project done, there's a lot more in store for this thing before we have to sell it. More things to expect on this thing before it is sold and potentially one of y'all buy it. We've got to rebuild the front end again. So it's unfortunate with independent front suspension vehicles that the front ends just don't hold up. So I have a pile of parts on the way for the front end. We obviously have to address some oil leaks. Number one, the oil cooler lines are leaking, which is a known issue on these 6.5s with their aid. And number two being the turbo drain pipe. So Quadstar has an update for that, and we are going to get into that when the parts get here. The thing worth mentioning is we have a full set, six tires coming for this thing. I have two as of now. I'm waiting on the other four to show up. But I think the next owner is really going to like these tires. They are an MT and we will go over these more in depth once we get to that point. A few lights need to be addressed which we will get to in upcoming videos. A bunch of the exterior lights don't work anymore. The LEDs burnt out. And we have a check engine light on which we will be getting into. More of that PMD failure that everybody knows about. And to point out the obvious, this thing needs a respray as far as the paint job goes. The paint job on this thing didn't hold very well and honestly it now feels like it's painted with bed liner. 
So I hope you all are excited for the upcoming videos on this thing, not to mention all the other stuff that I got going on. So please check out the playlist if you are interested in any other thing that I'm working on, whether it be four wheelers or truck related and stuff like that. We still have a full crew cab to build. And with that y'all, this thing needs to get done, so I need to get on it and we'll catch you guys in the next video.